this is going to be a shorter video, but I figured I'd make it. Uh, I recently found out that I had actually reached over 100 subscribers, which uh, I know was a s small milestone, but uh, I had no idea like how it happened or when it happened or why, I don't know. Because <laughs> like, I really make my make my videos because I just enjoy making them. I never really thought much um, that I'd actually become something that some people actually enjoy to the point where they like, actually subscribe, so. Uh, thank you, I, I guess. I'll try to make more entertaining videos like to, you know, fill that, but <clears throat> overall, I'm, um, it's a pleasant surprise. I, whatever, I just never expected, uh, to become, or to actually get, like, any thing on YouTube. Wow, I'm losing frame rate. <sighs> I don't know what my frame rate problem is. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm just setting up for a mission that I was kind of thinking about and working on, actually, um, after, um, after the Interstellar Probe video, and, uh, I figured this would be a good milestone, you know, 100 subscribers, let's see if I can get more, um, see what happens kind of thing. This is, um, as you can see by the name, it's an interstellar, uh, a, a slower than light interstellar craft which is going to contain six Kerbals. There's three on board already. I'm just docking my OUV to it to transfer more over. And uh, it, as you can see, it's basically made to leave the solar system uh, and then decelerate, and this whole segment can detach and land on a planetary body. Uh, I actually spent a lot of time working on the parachutes and everything to make sure nothing would explode. And uh, I tell you, that was, that was tricky. So yeah, this is the ship. It has no name, which I'll actually get to in a minute. Um, oh my goodness, yeah, I probably should have, uh, put more, uh, rack, uh, reaction control thrusters on it. Anyways, I thought this was kind of interesting, because as I, as I stated in the other video, the mods do intend on putting in, uh, interstellar travel, like other stars and whatnot, in later, later versions of the game. So, I figured that I'd set this up now, and I'd launch it, and, uh, basically, once they actually do add that ability, uh, we can see where we are in relation like, you know, where, how far we've come kind of thing. So, uh, that's where actually the no-name thing comes in, because I want you guys to name the ship. <clears throat> like, I don't have too many subscribers, I don't know who all will actually comment, but this is a shorter video, so, um, maybe I'll actually get uh, some replies to it. But yeah, so, you guys can name the ship, as well as a few other things if you want. Like, you can name uh, the ship, uh, you can basically make whatever you want kind of things, like a motto or whatever, or a mission objective. Um, well, the mission objective is basically just interstellar, find a planet kind of thing. But it can be either a colony thing or a research thing. Like, I don't know, I'm leaving it up to you guys. Uh, I have the mission, the basic principles in place. I have the ship. I have the crew. And uh, you guys can decide the name of the ship. And, uh, like, the name of, like, if it does find a planet in later versions, uh, the name of the base, or whatever, like, it's, it's up to you guys. But, for sure, uh, the name of the ship is, is a big thing that I'd like to, um, to have addressed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it's, it's only gonna carry six Kerbals, like, I, I, I could potentially have, like, the front op- um, like, like, the capsule filled up, then four Kerbals in each compartment, but I'm thinking for practicality and whatnot, I'll just do six, because that's two per compartment. Um, also, they have stasis pods. So, yeah, this is going to be a sleeper ship without sleeper, because you may have noticed that, like, my Goddard ship has artificial gravity using the uh, the pods on the side. This one does not. Uh, so, I'm just going to assume that we're going to use something other than that, like stasis, for a... Interstellar Voyage, the first in my, my game actually for, for using manned ships, I mean like on purpose, I have accidentally hurled some Kerbins, or Kerbals into um, escape velocities, but I've always ended those because I don't want to watch them drift into space forever. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Again, this is my, my pro docking skills. If you may remember from my uh, entry to the two rocket guys video, which actually I kind of realized later on that I could have just used... Um, the docking port as the control on the module. So all of my complaints are totally invalid in that video. Um, it was just my, my stupidity. Uh, it, was, it was, yeah, whatever. 
the, uh, yeah, the two Rocket guys, they have a good channel, I go suggest watching their stuff. Also, Scott Manley does some good KSB videos. But no, anyway, so yeah, um... Okay. Well, eh, close enough. So yeah, you guys can name our interstellar ship, because I always name my ships, and I always give them uh, obscure names that no one would know about. Uh, named after old TV programs, or or whatnot. So I'll I'll leave it up to you guys to name this ship. Uh, I, I basically just leave it in the comments what you think would be a good name, and uh, I'll go from there, kind of thing. Nothing obscene, okay? Uh, like although I do have a sense of humor, and I probably would potentially do that. I would I would rather not. <laughs> Because I, I want a serious name, something meaningful, like not just like a, like some name from a video game or whatever. Although if I if it's good, sure, but something meaningful would be nice because I like having meaning in all the names of my stuff. I, 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 I can make a video of just all of my stuff and the meanings for all the names I give them, but uh, that'd probably be boring and you guys probably wouldn't like that too much. So I probably won't unless it's requested. On that note, uh, I have been requested a number of times to do another Volts video where I show how to make the dead hand switch. Um, so if you guys want that, let me know. Uh, it's been suggested a few times, I might actually do that like, 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 a, like a legit tutorial. I'm also thinking of doing a video, like a, um, a tutorial to get to the MUN using a simple craft. Basically where I build it, launch it, land, come back kind of thing, all in one video. Which I've actually timed it. I can, if everything goes as planned, I can build, launch, fly, and return a, a ship to the MUN and back in like... Five minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I'll probably make a video of that. <clears throat> um, yeah, if you have any other ideas for KSP videos, let me know. I'd be happy to um, to fly them. I still need to do my last uh, whole the planets video, which I'll be going to Eve using the music uh, Venus, and then after that, I'll wait for the devs to include a Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune planet so I can use those songs. <clears throat> I've actually gotten some uh, pretty good um, uh, pretty good responses like positive feedback from those videos like the the Duna one using Mars is still like the most popular uh, but I've also had a lot of good feedback on this the jewel one and uh, the, <laughs> the moho one it's the only two I, the only two I have. Which makes me happy, because I, I, again, I started making videos for the, just because I wanted to make videos for the sake of really no reason. If you look at my, 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 my earlier videos, you can tell that there's like no reason for them. They're just there. Oh, come on. But then I started doing KSP videos, and uh, I actually <laughs> found that I really enjoyed them, so I continued with that, and I've actually... My second most popular video is the, the Duna one, so it's a KSP video. The most popular is the Volts one, where I show how to make a dead hand switch. Which, again, I was actually surprised about that one too, because... I don't know, just... <laughs> a lot of weird surprises with YouTube. Stop moving. Once I actually dock this, um, I'll transfer the crew and probably end the video. I don't want it to be too long, basically just doing, announcing some stuff. And the whole uh, naming of this of our interstellar craft here, which will carry our brave Kerbals to a brave new world. Okay, you know what? You're gonna stop moving. Thank you. Okay, you know what? Going in. So yeah, um, I kind of wish I had docked by now. That's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> uh. I could, I guess, cut out any of this, but, um, I, I don't know. Okay. Actually, I have an idea. We're gonna do this. We're gonna stop. Move forward. You see, it's one of those weird things about this, is that I, usually when I'm, like, when I'm just playing by myself and building stuff, my docking usually goes really well. Unfortunately, 
when I do docking for videos and stuff, and I'm being like recorded and watched, I'm really bad at it. I don't know, it's stage fright, maybe it's because I'm talking, I'm not paying attention. But uh, either way... Uh, you know, actually, I'll do this. Well, there's a target on- there's a target indeed. Either way, I don't know. So yeah, um... This is the ship. It's a one-way kind of deal. It's gonna contain six Kerbals. It's modular. It was actually fairly easy to build. It took me... Well, the, the ship itself didn't take that long to build, but testing of the actual uh, command hab unit was a real pain. And uh, was actually almost kind of painful. Ah, you know what? I have an idea. <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to cut here and then do a, a docking and then come back to you because I want to actually end this video with the true tra crew transfer. Alright, uh, <laughs> there we go. That actually didn't take as long as I... Um, as it did last time. Maybe like two or three minutes. I don't know. The clock says two minutes. So yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> start transferring the crew over. Uh, what was I talking about? I'll do this. Beautiful. Actually, I'm going to wait till we're on the, uh, the day side to do the EVA. I don't want to do it at night. Oh, there goes KSC. Alright, anyways, um, let's turn the crew over. Uh, they're not, they're not, these aren't the flight crews, they're just part of the uh, the science crew. The flight crew on is already- oh, crap. Flight crew is in the capsule and they will return- to, or they will retreat into the um, the pods once they're co uh, um, coasting. So yeah, um, <clears throat> again, just uh, name the ship, whatever I put suggestions in the comments. If uh, no one suggests anything, I'll have to name it myself, which wouldn't be too big an issue. I do it all the time. Um, oh crap, I forgot who's who. Uh, I'll do this one. Oh yeah, and the OUV will just uh, return uh, autom um, yeah, automatically. I don't want to waste my OUVs. I think I have one around the MUN, too. Yeah, I have, I have a situation around the MUN that I need to resolve. Uh, I was doing a mission, and somebody crashed, and... Uh, he has to, like, walk across the, the lunar surface. Yeah, I would like to... Oh, okay. Is that you? Oh, yes, okay. Anyways, yeah, now he has to walk across the lunar surface to, uh, get... Oh, no, let go. To get to a, um, a, a sample return probe that I have landed there to return. I, I'm thinking of making a video of it, but I don't know. It's a funny little story. Uh, it was an interesting little situation. I might do that. But currently my uh, biggest missions right now are this one, and I'm planning a Duna uh, colonization video. That'll have music and be short, don't worry. I don't know, I think one for the back of the pod, which I think is Chen... whatever the hell his name is. Yep. All right, so the OUV is now empty, and the crew of insert name here <coughs> is pretty much ready to go. I will make a launch video of it with the name uh, once I get enough submissions that I can make a, a judgment call. So yeah, um, there you have it. This will be a, I don't know, I, just, I like doing fun little mission things. This will be an interesting one because it'll be able to play in the background. Like, uh, my interstellar probe is also in the background, it's flying away. Fly away. Alright, so I'll just go... Undock. Good chunk. And then, move away from the OUV, close up our nose cone. There we go.
and yeah, I'll bring I'll bring this down later. Actually, I'll go back to the ship here, and we'll speed up. Get rid of the OUV, which will then land by itself. So yeah, um, leave a leave a suggestion in the comments for a name uh, and anything else you'd you'd like to add on to this. And uh, I'll make a video about that, and we can get this mission underway. So uh, thanks for watching. If you've subscribed, uh, thank you. You don't have to, but it's nice to know people like my videos enough to do that. And I uh, hope you all have a pleasant evening.